Hello everyone and welcome to part 1,265,000 of the Unreal Engine 5 FPS tutorial series. In this one, we're going to ragdoll characters whenever we shoot them. The last tutorial we added a bunch of chaos, destruction. This one we're not going to do any destruction, but we are going to do some damaging. So let's just get right into that. To start, we're going to grab the third person character that we already have in the project. This is because we made, well, we made the project with a third person template. So if we go to content drawer and then I'm personally going to go to FPS tutorial art mannequins. And then inside of here, I'm going to go to meshes. And I believe this is where the, yeah, the skeletal mesh for the mannequin is. This is the skeletal mesh that we're going to be adding a ragdoll to. Now, to do that, I'm going to make a blueprint out of this, then we're going to add an animation to it, and then we're going to, you know, continue from there. But let's just start with the blueprint. Now, to add a blueprint, we're going to click on it, and then we're going to go right here, and this is going to convert this actor into a reusable blueprint class. So we can just click there. I am going to make it an actor, not a skeletal mesh actor. We don't need that to be super specific. And then I'm going to call it BP character. Or, well, we already have a blueprint character, so let's just call this one, like, AI. It's not really going to have any AI in this tutorial, but maybe some other tutorial. I'm going to place that inside of Core. And then... Seems to not allow us to do that. Okay, we seem to have to select Skeletal Mesh Actor. Okay, well, um, I don't really want a Skeletal Mesh Actor out of this. So instead of that, actually, let's just go back to the content drawer and then inside of Core, let's do it ourselves. So right click, Blueprint, Blueprint Class, Actor, and then inside of here, let's go AI. And then inside of this Blueprint, I'm going to click on Components and add a Skeletal Mesh component. I'm not going to name it anything, and then for the skeletal mesh itself, I'm just going to pick that mannequin. Let's make sure it's also rotated to face the proper forward direction in the blueprint. You will see that this is the correct uh, direction. If I grab it, go to the third person map, and then just place it, you'll see that we can drag it around properly. Awesome, we have our character. Let's play an animation on it just so we can see that. So if I go to Blueprint AI, Click on the skeletal mesh, change the animation mode to animation asset, and then inside of there, let's just play the idle loop, which I believe we have in this project. MF idle, there it is. Compile and save. And now our character is going to be playing that idle loop. So if I play now, we're going to have a character playing an idle loop. Now, this is great. This is exactly what we wanted. Now, the one thing we do want to do as well is we're going to want to make it ragdoll whenever we shoot it. This is not very hard, so let's just immediately do that. To do that, just like we did in past tutorials, we're going to go to the bullet projectile. That is in FPS tutorial, core, and then BP bullet. And then inside of here, we are going to apply some sort of damage to whatever we hit. Now, to apply damage, there is a aptly named apply damage function in Unreal Engine. And all we need to do is use this actor that we hit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to right click and promote it to a variable, call it hit actor, just so we can use it a little easier. And then at the end of all of this, right before the simulation or simulating physics check, because we are not simulating physics just yet, I'm going to get the hit actor. And then I'm going to say apply damage. And this is going to ask us for a bunch of values. We don't really need to pass most of it, though. We're going to set the base damage to be 50, let's say. I'm not going to do any kind of complicated health system things in this tutorial. I'm simply going to make it ragdoll whenever we hit it. So if we go apply damage, we can now compile. Obviously, nothing is going to happen if we play now. We haven't added any functionality that would really tell it to ragdoll whenever we hit it. So we still need to do that. That is something we're going to do inside of the AI blueprint. So I'm going to click on edit right there. And then inside of its event graph, there is a receive damage or there should be a receive damage event. It is called event any damage. 
And we can use this to kind of call functionality whenever this character receives some damage. As a matter of fact, if I print right here, we should see whether we're receiving damage or not. We are not receiving damage. In fact, we seem to be completely clipping and that is probably because the character doesn't have collision or at least not yet. Indeed, it doesn't have collision with the projectile. So we're just going to go ahead and make this block all and then compile. Now we have damage. You can see that we're printing hello every time we hit it. So instead of all that, I'm going to go to blueprint AI event graph and then inside of here, and this is going to be super simple. So pay attention. I'm going to get the skeletal mesh and then the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to call a function called set simulate physics. And then you can just set this to true. This should just allow you to pretty much ragdoll the character. This will only work for characters that have a physics asset though. So do bear that in mind. The, the third person character in the third person template does have one. So you can see that we are now not only simulating physics, but as a matter of fact, it looks pretty good mostly because at, right after we apply this damage, we are also adding an impulse to it. So keep in mind that I'm doing this after so we can apply impulse, meaning we will also move it back with the bullet. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for this tutorial. We're going to do a lot more interesting stuff in the coming tutorial, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next one.